Hey guys, I'm Tim with Original Strength and today I wanted to show you a fantastic movement that you can do for your shoulders. Before we get started, I know what you're thinking, it's probably not Friday, unless it's Friday. But if you're watching this and it's not Friday, every day should be Friday. Anyway, so we're going to look at a movement that's similar to rocking that is fantastic for your shoulders. So as you know, or maybe you don't, but this is a wonderful movement for your shoulders, your hips, your knees, your ankles, your wrists, your spine. Well, this movement is just great for everything. Um, but it does hit our shoulders out here. Um, but we can do a similar movement to hit our shoulders up here and to get, to get more flexion uh, into our shoulders and to, to work on some stabilization uh, overhead. For this movement, only move where you can, be curious, don't be aggressive. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go to the down dog position. And here, instead of rocking back and forth like the uh, Tibetan right number five, we're actually gonna rock in circles as upside down as our body will allow us to. So this is a fantastic way to strengthen your shoulders, to get some stability, overhead stability in your shoulders. It's relatively very safe. And it feels good. And that's it. We are just working on trying to get some flexion, overhead, uh, strength and stability through movement um, in our shoulders while we're upside down, mimicking overhead uh, carries or overhead presses. So again, rocking is fantastic for your shoulders and you can rock in circles, which is wonderful for your shoulders, but we can also elevate the hips and do something very similar in a different plane of motion for our shoulders. And that's it. Give that a shot, guys. I, I think you'll enjoy it, especially if you don't mind being upside down. Um, and it is a safer way to work on overhead stability and to strengthen your shoulders. All right, guys, that's it for this week. I'm Tim with Original Strength, and we'll see you next time. To learn more, consider attending an Original Strength certification. Visit OriginalStrength.net for more information.